I don't like to do top lists though. You don't? No, oh, I'm sorry. I've retired from nudity myself. <laughs> I can't balance a tray on the end of my knob anymore. Steve, nice good to, to see, see you, mate. mate. Really nice to see you. My so pleasure. The I've thing got is, a coffee. You've got a coffee. There's a calf next door. Blooms, Bloomsbury. Blooms oh, yeah. It's Virginia Woolf. Is she in there? She's in there, but not on a Monday. No. Yeah. Uh, but um, we were going to do the shoot here. We might do a bit of it here, but I might go up on the roof. Yeah, well, it's a lovely day. It's a nice day, and it's kind yeah. of quick work and stuff like that. Won't fall over, will we? There's barriers. You, I'll save you. All right. There's bungee cords <laughs> and all that stuff. <laughs> we'll count me in. Yeah, cool. All right, we'll get on the roof. Just a bit of a squeeze. All right. right. Um, OK, <laughs> right. so coming through here, <laughs> let's do it. Let's, all uh, right, let's go. Uh, let's go. It's a, very, <laughs> it's a very slow lift. There's only two lifts in this block. But um, really? this is the faster lift, and it's still pretty um, slow. Yeah, I'm, so. a, I'm a touch claustrophobic. Are you? Yeah. Get told off, this has to be on a board. So, Arthur Smith, welcome to my roof. I'm delighted to be on your roof. I, <laughs> I do like a roof. Because when I started out, I used to be a chimney sweep. Is that for real? Because I never know when I'm going to speak to you. I never know what's real coming from you. <laughs> is that that? That's no, not, that no, isn't real. No. I wasn't a chimney sweep. You weren't sweep. a chimney sweep. Do you, do, you, um, do you particularly like your pictures being taken or you don't really mind? or? I don't really mind. I'm, I'm not a fan of it, really. I find it slightly awkward. But, of course, you have to have them. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like to do top lists though. You don't? No, oh, I'm damn. sorry. For one thing, it's a bit cold. It's cold up on the roof, yeah. Well, actually, having said that, I've got a couple of pictures of me with just my pants on here and there. But that's from years ago. I've got a shot of you at the Ealing Comedy Festival, not that long ago, about three years ago, yeah. you were in a leotard. Oh, yeah. And then two women without any clothes came on Oh, yeah, I yeah, I have a shot yeah. of that, and they were just walking on, and they were just kind of touching you a little bit, and then just walked off again. Yeah, that's right. But I've, I've retired from nudity myself. <laughs> I can't balance a tray on the end of my knob anymore. So there's a picture of you that I took, and again, I think it was a Healing Comedy Festival, and it's the only one that I would consider using in colour. I don't know, you, you had a white jacket. Oh, yeah. And you're walking into the tent. Yeah. And the only reason I'd put it into colour was that it had red, white and blue. So you were in white and the red, one bit was red and the one bit blue. So oh, that's yeah. what I'd use Red, in white and blue yeah. is World Cup Willie. Do you remember that? No. Look, look at this by the way. You see this? This is a sock that belongs to, <laughs> belongs to a really tall friend of mine. <laughs> Arthur Smith, it's Brian Smith. You change it because of equity, which is what I did as well. In equity, only one name's allowed. Yeah, that's so right. So Brian Smith, you change to Arthur Smith. My real name is Stephen Lewis. Ah. Who's that? Stephen Lewis. Is he an actor? He was an actor. Yeah, he was in, what was he in? I'll take a picture Cross of you. Crossroads? No. <laughs> kind of on the right Stephen lines. Stephen Lewis. Ten years ago, yeah. he was a uh, Blakey. Oh, on the buses? On the buses. Oh, yeah, was that Stephen Lewis? That was Stephen Lewis with yeah. the PH, yeah. So I couldn't uh, uh, right. get there. But you never knew who Brian Smith was. No, no. And uh, when you had to change your name, you had to, you had to put on the list what name you'd choose. Yeah. And I put down initially <laughs> Captain Wanker, because <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Uh, well, well, it is it, funny. Yeah. yeah, but retrospectively, it, it was probably quite pleasing that they didn't actually choose, <laughs> let me do that. Because, uh, you know, if imagine if I wanted to be in a, some play, if I was wanting to play Hamlet, Captain Wanker is Hamlet, it wasn't going to work, was it? I think I'll have a fag. Fag's good. If you're with a Siggy, it's a, a stand up shot, lean on the wall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's do a couple without as well. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Oh. That's better, these are nicer. Yeah, all different faces, great. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm moody. <laughs> That's nice, nice, I like that. Get the chimneys in as well. I've got to get the chimneys. Great. I'm just going to fire away. My years as a chimney sweep. <laughs> Influences, and he was on my roof uh, juggling potatoes. Um, John Hegley. Oh, yeah. John I read, Hegley. Yeah. His use of words. He was a wordsmith. He's a poet, obviously. Yeah. But also very funny. And it was that combination of carefully chosen words, wit, and his little poems yeah. that were inspirational to me. When I went to the comedy store for the very first time to see what, what this new thing was, John Hegley was on, yeah, and Tony Allen, I remember. He's a kind of the Tony Allen, the godfather, isn't he? Yeah, known as? Yeah, 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 yeah. Traditional comics then, it was yeah. all racism and homophobia and mother-in-laws and stuff. And he was the one who really drove that. And he was all in favour of CND and... Um, Do you think it's more, it was all much more left-wing than it is now? I mean, it was Well, it's more... different now, it's more complex now. Back then it was, you were either pro or anti Thatcher, really. I yeah. mean, Thatcher was the thing. But there's uh, no pro Thatcher comics on the alternative circuit. No, none at all, exactly. That, so now you're saying Most of the ones on the regular circuit were, were pro Thatcher. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and they had sparkly jackets and bow ties yeah. and just did lots and lots of old jokes. And they used to meet up beforehand to check they weren't doing it, they weren't all doing the same joke and whatnot. I think smoking shots for some reason yeah. are fantastic. <laughs> With your sock around your neck. Yeah. In my book Joker Face, where I've got kind of loads of comedians giving me jokes and four or five facts, oh, yeah. you and Barry Cryer have kind of got my favourite jo jokes in the book. But you're kind of a Barry Cryer legend. Now. Oh, well, Barry Cryer was just the nicest, sweetest, funniest man you can imagine. It. Because he was of the old school, really, but he put his hand over the parapet and, uh, he, and he didn't used to do all that kind of homophobic sort of stuff anyway. No. He used to ring up comedians on their birthdays. And uh, just this last year was the first time Barry Cryer didn't ring me up on my birthday. Aye. Obviously, because he was dead, so he couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was a, a wonderful, generous man. The joke you gave oh, me... Yeah. Um, I, I sailed through my driving test. Oh yeah, that's why I failed it. <laughs> well, what's great? It's so succinct. It, you know, there's, there's yeah. no word, a fatty word. It's all, de it's still there. Yeah. And Barry Cries was, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hypochondriac, or so my gynaecologist tells me. <laughs> it's just like, you know, sublime, isn't it? It's really yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great joke. If you um, look at me straight into the art, I'm going to get some really arty one here. So. Got good, you've got a good, uh, you're photogenic, you've got a certain look. It's <laughs> <laughs> really, really nice. So acute, what was it called? Acute something? Acute necrotizing pancreatitis. So we were talking about the drinking when you were yeah. in Edinburgh, but yeah. that stopped in 2000 and something. 2001 was when I was ill. December the 12th, 2001, it was kind of... Big time. It, yeah, it was my own 9-11 uh, sort of event. It was not. I was in the middle of the night and I had this agonising pain. It felt like some rats were trying to eat their way out of my stomach. And I ended up in intensive care and, uh, and I nearly died. And then when I came home out, I realised I'd learnt two things, that I'd better stop drinking and that I really like morphine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, look, they're coming to get me. It's mentioning the morphine. <laughs> that was a kind of massive wake-up call. And, and, yeah, and I, I had to, I had to quiet and down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I was lucky to survive, really. Yeah. Looking back on it, and, uh, and I'm still going, just yeah. about. How old are you now? Sixty-eight. So I'm a, I'm a pensioner. It's a nice profile. Let me just do it from this angle. And just slightly look to me. Keep your body like that. It looks to me it's great. Yeah. Oh, bloody <laughs> Don't fall over the edge, Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are really nice. Yeah, keep that, yeah. Nice. Yeah, she should get me sock in. Yeah. Great. 
<laughs> so what's next? Yeah, good question. Well, I've got a couple of ideas of things to do, maybe in Edinburgh. You're just an Edinburgh animal, in that sense. Yeah, well, I mean, having said that, last year I was, because I did my 75 years at the Edinburgh Fringe, because it was the 75th anniversary, though obviously I'm not actually that old. And I said, this will be my last one, and, uh, you know, but I don't, you know, sod that, I probably will be going back. I've got various ideas. Uh, well, last year, I think the Edinburgh is a bit of a fiasco at the moment. They've yeah. got to sort it out, don't they? I think yeah, last year, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it, it was like the numbers were 25 percent down, and, and no one could afford to stay anywhere anymore. That's a big thing, isn't it? It's mad. Yeah. It's not quite what it was. Yeah. Well, there we go, Arthur Lovely. Smith. Lovely, Steve. I want a little hug. Big Thank hug. you. Cheers, mate. I mean, I really appreciate that. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure up here yeah. on the roof. Yeah, it wasn't I too might cold. Fly home. <laughs> bungee <laughs> home. Yeah. Well, bungee back. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.